Everyone knows that I'm a dirty, stinky, sweaty tryhard. Well, not really, but I do thrive off killing other players. Oh! <laughs> so I think it's fair to say I'm completely out of my depth doing basically anything else, including feeling happy. But one of the other things is making money. In fact, the last time I earned my own money on purpose on GTA was back in my original account, Motmus on PS4, or... Race Boy on Xbox 360. Nine year old me like racing games, okay? Anyway, this is all the way back in 2015, and when I won an account in the giveaway that had a lot of money already on it, I never looked back. I guess I hated being poor. Do you want to be rich? like me. If so, head over to Messy Modding Store for all your gaming needs where you can get GTA 5 cash and rank, GTA 5 modded accounts, and many more. And if you have any doubts, look at all these happy customers. So yeah, it's been a while and a lot has changed. I used to only really play heists, RPGs vs Insurgents, or races to get money. And with how expensive everything is now, that's not really viable. So, as an experiment, I decided to see what it's like to make money and become a grinder for 24 hours in 2023. First up, I did absolutely zero research on what I should buy or what methods I need to create money. I thought, you know what, might as well start setting up some businesses and whatnot. How hard can that be? So yeah, the majority of grinding is pretty boring. Peter, I need you to take ah, Chris and Meg to much school. Much better. Uh, anyway, so the first attempt to set up my nightclub only faced the typical rockstar annoyances. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> then, before I invested too much time on this account, I decided I'd try the same thing, but on my low level account. Okay, I didn't say low money. But yeah, it's not the most authentic experience when you already have $800 million. Anyway. I think we've all been in the situation where- Like I can imagine most griefers doing, I just watched YouTube on the side. Because I'd already done this mission before, I didn't really expect anything to happen. It looked like that guy wasn't really that bothered by me, so he just left me alone after that kill. But now it's time to collect the second nightclub staff. <laughs> I'm in danger! As a precaution, I go ghost and get out of the car just so he can't lock on me. You gotta treat everyone hostile, especially if they're red. Oh, at least the car survived. Jesus Christ, it's so annoying. What's the button? Oh, he's just got the best fucking name in the world, doesn't he? Doesn't he? Doesn't he? Doesn't he? Doesn't he? Of course. And he's still shooting at me. He still knows exactly where I am. Please just leave me alone. You noticed I'm not that interested in fighting people, that's why I didn't kill that guy there. Oh, please. please just let me do this, man. I need to, I want to, I want to actually do this. Oh, oh my god, bro. Let me do this fucking mission. I'm ghost talking, they know exactly where I am. I wonder how, I wonder why. And they're using fucking aimbot. I'm literally just getting griefed by fucking cheese right now. He's got just the headshot. Oh, I'm literally. 
inside a bin. I spawn inside a bin. Yes, fuck you. I then try and message him and tell him that I'm just trying to do a mission. And then he says that I killed him first. Well, that's technically correct by like half a second. He did shoot at me first, with the rocket already locked onto me. He then says he wasn't going to kill me with a suppressor. Now, when I call him out for modding, he says, how? Says you. Implying that I'm the one modding. What do you guys think? Yeah, that's right, he just one-shot me through BST and when I have a helmet on. I think he's modding. Fucking hell, he didn't have that before. But now, finally, it's back to trying to do what I wanted to do in the first place. Oh, for fuck's sake. He then ends up going ghost. As soon as I turn around, that's where he goes around the corner. Of course the tree's there. Of course the tree's there. That was literally hits you if the tree's not there. Oh really? Yeah. Hashtag fuck trees. Sorry Mr. Beast. Oh fuck off. Literally fuck off. I literally just want to go to my fucking CEO menu. Now unfortunately through all of these kills you'll see the timer in the bottom right go down and down and down. I decided to give up and just grief this modder because he was so bad even with his mods. I'll just do that mission another day. <laughs> Bro this kid is so bad I can't believe I let him grief me. The session then started to get stale and fizzle out, so I decided to call out JDN for being a modder in game chat. This guy's one of the people that would never admit to using mods. It's like the guy that I mentioned in my last video, like how they use mods that are really hard to detect like aimbot and triggerbot, and for some reason accuse you of doing the same thing. But yeah, I decided to go passive because I can't be asked to deal with this guy. I ask him if he wants to see the proof of me not modding, but as always, they just ignore that. His excuse for being able to see me off radar is the fact that he's got modder friends. I don't know, don't believe that. I kill him one more time with a jerk. I try to kill him again, but then he leaves. But we're not done just yet because I join him back, orb him, get modded so it looks like I kill loads of people, get crashed, go on my other account, orb him again, and then get crashed again. Yes, this video is still about grinding, so let's keep this money flowing. God, grinding actually sucks, it's so boring. Oh, you've got to be shitting me.
Oh, what the fuck? They left. Twelve seconds later. So yeah, I'm gonna try hard. But the annoying part about this, because I'm a try hard and I Ewo, I spawn outside the search area. Now this is gonna be a pain in the ass. So this guy's now crashed his jet and I now have three seconds to get over to the search area. And I can't do that, so my VIP work has been ended. But you may be wondering, where's the guy that was in the jet? What happened to him? What the fuck? Now you might be thinking, why are you playing on PC? There's so many modders. So I went to PS5. WK Ellis, oh no, the Barker's out. Frick. What's going on out here? Lovely attention. Uh oh, the barcode. Oh shit. <laughs> this might be tough, guys. This might be tough. Please don't be in the direction of north. Please be south. No, bro. I was just waiting for the L. Um. <laughs> God, no. The answer may surprise you. Can we get an L God mode in the chat, guys? L God mode. L God mode in the chat, guys. Anyway, the barcode wasn't too bothered about fighting me, so I just drove off. Again, the missions are just really boring. But don't worry, one day I'll try and become a grinder for like a week or something, and then we'll do it properly. This is going to be the most cancer thing I've ever done, I think. This will actually be a miracle. I think I might be able to do it. As long as the uh, barcode kid doesn't get on like an oppressor or something. Which he might. I think I'm chilling. I was in fact chilling. For a session full of god mode tryhards, that was surprisingly painless. Even when my name is Motmus YT. Well, that was very successful. You can find out what happens next in this video here. Uh, yeah, it's kind of old because I don't want people to find out my account end on PC because you know what happens when that happens. So this is my first time doing this kind of mission. I didn't really know what to do. As you can see, I learnt my lesson from being too close because they literally have aimbot. But then this guy in the plane, who I thought might be friendly. Oh no, why am I getting grief? Turns out he's just trying to grief me. You can also see that I'm already carrying one cargo crate. I didn't realise you couldn't carry more than one. This sucks, this is so bad. But eventually I figured that out and then tried to go away. I can't believe it, man. As soon as this guy griefs my cargo, he then just flies away. He's not even that bothered about me, he just wants to grief my cargo. So I then have to swim back and get my cargo again before I can finally deliver it. You can then see this guy on a bike right behind me, and I'm being nice, I'm choosing not to kill him. It's unfortunate. <laughs> That's this kid, the guy, the guy that killed me before, the griefer. I'm not meant for grief, uh, grinding. I'm definitely not meant for grinding. Oh, I fucked up the mission. I've only done two of the three crates because some kid griefed me. Oh well. Oh, yeah. What are you gonna say? Yeah. Yo! 200 grand! Popping off. This is easy. So finally, this is now me helping out some other people. And everything went smoothly all the way until we got to where we had to deliver it. There's a guy that had joined our MC club to try and infiltrate it and he started firing rockets at us and then this barcode started ramming us so we couldn't get it in. He then tried to blow us up with sticky bombs but it was really stupid so I just shot him out and then eventually I managed to get it delivered. This isn't where this ends though. The next video will be what happens next so you know what to do if you want to see that. Jesus, that lasts like a few seconds, like holy shit. Thank you.